Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some carne asada mulitas. Now, mulitas are similar to a quesadilla, but yet they're very different. They're very easy to make. They take just a few ingredients. And today I'm going to show you how I make them step by step. Let's get started. Now, as you can see, I'm making homemade corn tortillas, but that's because I had some leftover masa from yesterday's tacos dorados. You can definitely use store-bought corn tortillas. So I'm going to finish making my tortillas and then we'll go to the next step. Now I'm getting ready to prepare my meat for my mulitas. I'm going to be using chuck steak. As you can see, I've got two of them and they both together weigh just a pinch over a pound. But you can use any meat that you like. You can use skirt steak, ground beef, chicken, or you can make bean mulitas. They're all delicious. Now I put these chuck steaks in the freezer for about 20 minutes so they can get just slightly frozen and make them nice and firm and they're easier to cut like this. See, I like chuck steak because it's got a good amount of fat and that's what gives this meat a delicious flavor. And when they're a little frozen like this, they're easier to cut. So I'm gonna cut them up into small little cubes, okay? You can cut them any size that you want. But this is how I'm gonna be cutting them today, just like this. So I'm gonna keep on cutting these two steaks until I'm all done. So I just finished cutting up all my meat. And because it's got a good amount of fat, these mulitas are gonna be delicious. So now I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on my meat. Now some people like to season them really well and they like to marinate them and do all this kind of stuff. But I don't, I just like salt and pepper because I like the flavor of the beef to really come out and shine. See, I've got a good amount of pepper in here. Now I'm gonna add my salt. You want a good amount of salt in here, just like this. And that's good. So I'm gonna clean up my area and then we'll head to the griddle. So I'm getting ready to fry my meat. I'm gonna be using my electric griddle. Now on this griddle, it goes up to 400 degrees and that's where I've got it set, see? Now when you put your meat on the griddle, you can use a skillet too if you want. You wanna make sure that you do not overlap your meat. When it overlaps, it creates steam. And then you're gonna have a lot of water in here and it's gonna be a real big mess. Now you want high heat because you wanna hear that sizzle, see? If it's really low or medium, that's when it starts releasing a lot of its own liquid. But you want it high enough to where you're gonna hear a good sizzle here. And I think that's good. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for just a little bit until it sears real well from the bottom. And now I'm going to flip it over like this. Now do the best you can. And it's at this time that I'm gonna add my onions. My onions are julienne style like this, see? I love the onions in here like this. Oh man, I wish you could smell it in here. I'm gonna continue moving them around until the onions are just perfect. So my meat and onions are ready, look at this. Woohoo! So now I'm going to remove them, okay? I've got a plate right here and I'm gonna get them out of here. I've got my tortillas right here. I'm gonna put them on my griddle and I'm going to clean up all this grease with my tortillas like this. This is what's gonna give them that fantastic flavor that we're looking for. See, just like this. Now I've got some freshly grated Monterey Jack cheese and I'm gonna put my cheese right here. And it's gonna melt beautifully. Now I've got some refried beans. I want you to see that you can put some beans on it first or you can leave them out. Now I'm gonna put the cheese on top. They are so good with beans. You can have them either way. You can use any kind of cheese that you want as long as it's a good melting cheese. Use like mozzarella, Monterey Jack. You can use Oaxaca any kind of melting cheese that you want to use. I'm going to leave them like that for just a little bit until that cheese starts to melt a little more. 
So now that the cheese has started to melt, I'm going to top them with the meat. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Now these, I'm going to flip them over. And as you can see, there's no more of the grease here. So I'm going to put just a little bit of my vegetable oil, just a little bit like that. And I'm going to slide them over here because I want them to get nice and toasty. So I'm getting ready to flip them. I'm going to put a little oil on top like this. And then I'm going to brush them on top like that with the oil. See, and that's good. Yummy. So now that they're nice and toasty from the bottom, I'm ready to get them out. This is the one with the beans. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna show you how I like to prepare these. Look at that. I'm gonna put some of my cilantro. Of my guacamole. Oh, guacamole is so good in here. Some of my hot salsa. And I love plenty of hot salsa on here. Now you can use any kind of salsa that you like. Pick your favorite. See? I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice up here on top. Mmm. I'm going to cut it in half. Ooh, ooh. Now it's time for the taste test. Ooh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 These are absolutely heavenly. Oh my gosh. I can taste the beans and the meat is absolutely out of this world. Mm. Oh my gosh. I hope you make these and you can thank me later. So these are my carne asada mulitas. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.